Hi there, Andy. Uh, question about uh, yourself and the number one job. Can you just tell me, uh, now 12 months on, uh, yeah, after last year and all the problems you have to deal with besides the rugby, how do you think you've learned and what have you learned has made you more equipped in the job going into this Six Nations? Well, obviously, the, the bigger picture stuff over the year, it's been it's been an unprecedented year, so obviously that's been different, and hopefully um, uh, we can sort that out in, in the future. I suppose, Chris, you're learning every day on the job. Uh, there are things that are constantly popping up, obviously, uh, with it being the first time in, in, in the job. Uh, there's, there's things popping up constantly that you have to be um, uh, adaptable to, but... Um, it's exactly what I wanted, exactly what I wanted, it's exactly what I thought it was going to be, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's dealing with all sorts of uh, um, uh, um, different ramifications through a campaign, through a week, through a year, etc. But that's that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to be able to deal with all that type of stuff and uh, and enjoy it along the way. And, and that's exactly how I feel. A question for Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Um, Hi. Just wondering about your own injury situation. We saw you got uh, a knock coming off the, the last day and, and you've had a few different frustrations like that so, so how are you now and, and are you going to be fit for next week and just over the longer term is it something that's kind of been frustrating you yeah um anytime you you get uh, a, a little niggle like that it's very frustrating because i did a lot of work over the last four or five weeks um trained hard to to make sure that didn't happen and it did at the time that i didn't want it to happen which is somewhat typical um but listen uh, it's not it's not major um hopefully we'll be back training you know by the end of the week um you know and like i said hopefully be fit for fit for the wales game um so yeah it can be frustrating when you when you pick up these things um but uh you know it's it, it is a tough game to 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 get through now but um you know i was in a good place you know before the monster game and picked up an ego so i won't let it get it get me down too much and just get back on the horse get back training hard uh, this week and uh, hopefully be firing next week that's emma isn't it yes yeah um we have a question for jolly um how big is a, how big a loss is jacob stockdale to the back line yeah, look, Jacob uh, not being here is a, is a blow, as it would be to, to any squad. But, um, you know, we've got some good guys, uh, you know, in the back three that have been playing really well. Um, and it's disappointing for Jacob. I haven't had a chance to catch up with him yet. I was texting him before we were due to play Ulster, kind of seeing if he was going to be playing in that game. But um, I, I didn't think it was too bad at the time. So it was a shock to me that he, he missed out with, with injury. But uh, hopefully he'll be back soon. Um, you know he's a he's a top quality player um, and and a guy that can make a big difference. So uh, yeah, hopefully he'll be back soon. Hi Andy, um, just on that, what's the extent of Jake's, Jacob's injury, and would you be hopeful of having him back in contention later in the campaign? Uh, yeah, um, uh, he is progressing well. Uh, it's uh, it's nothing too serious, um, but. Uh, he has a bit of bone bruising, uh, um, I understand, uh, in his knee that and bone bruising tends to um, take a, a, a bit of time to settle down. Um, uh, we, we understand that he, he probably won't be available for, for the first two games and uh, hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, everything going well, he, he's back up and running and available um, midway through the competition. Hi. Um, well, I, I don't like to throw your goals out for everyone to, to hear them, but, uh, you know, obviously uh, being captain for this campaign, you know, a big aspirations that the team does does really well, um, you know, to try and win a championship as, as captain would be would be brilliant. Um, look, there's lots of stuff, um, you know, for me, it's about taking this uh, like campaign at a time, you know, and I'm just properly focused on, on this one. Um, and whether stay on for another year or another two, I don't know. It's uh, 
you know like hopefully I'll have something sorted in the next few weeks and and um, like I said all my focus is on this campaign and, and trying to win it um, and like I said try and do a good job as captain and, and make sure we're better as a team um, off the back of it and um, like I said I'm so excited to get into camp uh, it was a great place to be in November and um, now hopefully we can keep it like that but uh, have a, a couple of extra results to, to, to go away you know and um, to win some silverware is, is where we want to where we want to be at the end of this tournament. Jason, perfect. Uh, morning, guys. Uh, question for Andy. Um, Paul O'Connell's appointment um, came a bit of a surprise, I suppose, to a lot of us. Uh, to, to a lot of us. Um, can you tell us like how that came about and what you think he, he can and what he has already brought to first of all the coaches and the staff and the players? Well, f first of all, he, he's, uh, he's 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 been brought in to add. Uh, to be himself, and uh, and and the the obvious thing would would be that Paul is going to add to any environment. Um, myself and Paul have had a, a good uh, a good um, uh, rugby relationship for 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 many a years now, and he's somebody somebody that I, I keep in, in touch with uh, on a regular occasion. We've had him in camp a couple of times, and um, I'm always been interested of, of what his what his thoughts are and his next steps, etc. And uh, yeah, I suppose conversations just keep on happening over a period of time and um, yeah, the, the timing's right for now for Paul to come into camp and, and get ready for the Six Nations. Hi Andy. Hi Gavin. Hi, I wonder if the two results, in particular the performances against Scotland uh, last year, you know how much you've already developed as a team or, or what are your, your thoughts on, on those two games? Um, well, there the, were uh, tough encounters, like like they always are against Scotland. Um, we play them, we played them second last at, up at Murrayfield, and uh, you know, in a, in recent times, really, we've 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 had it really tough up there. So it's not going to be any different um, from a Scottish point of view. I think they they are improving the whole time under under Gregor, so they're they're always a threat. And uh, yeah, I suppose it doesn't really matter what's happened in the past because. We know which direction that they're trying to go, as long as uh, in the same direction as ourselves, and that's upwards. Matthew, uh, Andy, a question for you, please. Um, you obviously, I know you've been coached directly against Warren Gatland as Ireland head coach, but what have you noticed in, in the way Wales are trying to play under winning Pivak uh, versus the way that they used to play under Warren Gatland? Um, yeah, certainly, certainly different, different contrast in, in styles. Uh, albeit, um, you know, I suppose every coach adapts to the team that they're playing against and, and the, the conditions that they're playing in from from week to week. But if I look at, um, you know, one of uh, uh, Wayne's first games, it was under the roof um, in the Principality Stadium there against Italy, and they they threw the ball around and had great width and uh, great continuity in their attacking game and that's something that we've seen with the Scarlets I suppose um, that's that's Wayne's style um, which was great on, 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 on that occasion um, and I suppose as, as the as the year has gone on obviously results and um, uh, the conditions etc show that Wayne's got other ways of playing as well so um, I know that we we play them first game up. Uh, um, I think the the uh, the roof will be closed, so we're expecting uh, Wales to play the, the 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 game that we've seen in the, at the start of the campaign. Julian. Uh, hi. Uh, question for uh, Andy and, and Johnny. Um, what do you make of France's uh, chances for this uh, this championship, and also can you reflect on their uh, massive improvement recently? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll go first. Um, uh, obviously, I'm I'm rightly so. Um, they've been they've been tipped as uh, as one of the favourites going into this tournament for for what they have done in in the past year. Uh, they've got a. Um, a a tremendous squad uh, full of talent and uh, young rising stars that are, are coming to the to the fore as well. They play a good b uh, blend of rugby uh, as far as the game understanding is concerned, but they also play to the strengths when when the time is right. So they're uh, a very dangerous side uh, to play against as always. And uh, 
uh, there's some continuity in in in, in their selection etc and uh, yeah we expect them to be uh, just as dangerous if not more dangerous than than they have been in the past past year yeah i'd agree with that um you know they've uh they've got some outstanding young players coming through they seem to be very much together um you know good team spirit and they're they're coached very well um sean edwards seems to have gone in and, and made a difference so uh yeah you'd expect big things from them um uh, but you know, hopefully, we can learn from the game we played against them uh, at the back end of the Six Nations last year, and and um, you know, give them a better game in, in Dublin this time. Uh, Danny, just a, a question. I know Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool was talking about how difficult it is to foster a team spirit with social distance uh, and, and things like that. Is that something you've kind of found? You know, that you can't do the usual handshakes. You can't spend so much time together in meeting rooms and that. Is that something? You've talked about it. Is there anything you can do over the next couple of weeks to kind of help maintain that team spirit? Uh, the spirit was brilliant in, in uh, November and through the back end of the Six Nations. You know when we were when we were in camp. Um, you know I don't. You know it's not it's not an excuse. You know you got to you got to make an effort and uh, I've got a lot of Liverpool fans. So I don't like you uh, friends as Liverpool fans. I don't like you talking about Jurgen Klopp. I'd much rather you talk about. Uh, Man United at the moment and how good they're doing and that's not the the COVID restrictions aren't affecting their team spirit so um, you know the it's all all there for all the rules are there for everyone all the teams are the same so um, it's it's what you make with it isn't it it's what you do with with the time you have and and we've got a good social committee here and they'll uh, they'll keep us entertained um, and uh, yeah looking forward to you know the the, the camp ahead. Time for one last one there, Emma. And um, Johnny, how big an impact has Paul O'Connell had since coming in? Uh, well, well, none yet because we're we're only in today. No, we're not actually in camp yet. We're we're in camp later on tonight. So I'm sure you know I've I've caught up with him a couple of times. Uh, I obviously know what an impact Paul has on teams by by playing under him when he was captain of Ireland and uh, for. 10, 15 years with, with with Ireland and Munster, the impact that he had on their environments, and he'll be no different here. He's a he's a brilliant leader. He's a he's a brilliant uh, person, and uh, his desire or his passion for the game is is second to none, and, and that will rub off on us. Um, and uh, I'm really looking forward to to working with him. Um, and uh, yeah, that's 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 all I can say really on him.